Professor Mukta Saidin, Director of the Center of Global Archaeological Research, University Science Malaysia, who has been excavating the Sungai Batu site since early 2009, explains. Based on our record right now, from Tamil record and Arab record, showed that the iron were export until Arab and also until India to make a sword. Even Al-Kindi mentioned the best three iron in the world, one of that from Kalah. Kalah is Arabic for Kedah Tua. So it's really fulfilled the interpretation before by historian, now by the archaeologists with the new evidence of iron. We found right now eight JT structures throughout the old river. It's really a big complex. A lot of people, at least uh, five to six thousand people around with the industry and to export the iron. We export the iron, it's really very, very heavy. Really need a good, good quality ship so that it can be transported. Discoveries in archaeological sites such as Sungai Batu in northern Malaysia gave evidence that the Malayo-Polynesians not only possessed the skills to build big and strong boats to carry iron ingots across the ocean, but were also frequent traders along the Indian coast to the Arabs and may even have traded with the Romans, as mentioned by Claudius Potlamy, who wrote about Kedda, which he called Chersonesus Aurea, loosely interpreted as the Peninsula of Gold.